Hello and welcome to Eclipsed, a Thief 2 fan mission by Jeremy Kaplan. Let's begin. So where are you venturing to now, Garrett? Business. Ah, of course. So much business, I should think one would be quite wealthy enough by now. <sighs> what do you want, Drusius? You see, I am curious. A man of your talents and habits. Why is it that you just scrape by? Surely you have acquired enough to last several lifetimes by now. I don't need to explain myself to you. You are addicted to your own downfall. You steal just to replenish your tools to steal again. You gain nothing, and others lose everything. <laughs> and where would the keepers be without me? Long dead, I should think. You think you know me. You keepers. Always lecturing. But who comes crawling back time and time again? <laughs> I'm done trying to solve your riddles and your prophecies. But we do know you. We know you're desperate. We know where you're going tonight. Port Aranth is lost. If you go there, you will die. Or worse. Are you threatening me? <laughs> you don't understand. Those people did not abandon their homes. Something terrible has happened there. Drusius, you sound like a man with a secret. That's what I thought. Look, you won't stop me with your little campfire tales. I'll just be on my way. If you do go, there is no sanctuary with us anymore. You will be alone for the rest of your days. That's all I've ever wanted. Ignoring Drusius' plea, you have nearly arrived at Port Erent. Get inside the town and begin. Port Erent is deserted. Whatever you find is undisputedly yours. Gather 1300 loot. And now for the easy part. Leave the town and never come back. Let's go up to hard. 1750 or 2300. Ooh, Expo has an extra objective. It seems obvious that the Keepers had a hand in the town's desertion. Find evidence of their involvement. You know what? I'm going to go for Expo because of the extra objective that's just baiting me. Uh, it might be a mistake in terms of hit points to use, but we'll let's see how we get on. Well, no shop to begin with. What do we have? Uh, uh, custom compass that's hard to read. Am I looking north or am I looking south? I can't tell with this thing. I think, like, normally that'd be looking north, the normal compass, if the red's at N, but N is backwards here, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Okay, nothing much there. Sword, blackjack. Nothing else at all. I mean, we've come with no equipment. Oh, that's a great start. How about some frogs? Can we get, get any frogs? We get one water arrow. Oh, well, it is technically better than... Zero water arrows. Do we have a map? We don't even have a map of this place. Wait a minute. Just going around circles. Well, we just left the window open for me. I guess it's our way in. Ah. 
And there was just some board heads. Uh, 38 is a start, it's not what I've got a great start. Anything around the bed? I mean, I guess we, I was gonna say, I guess we can turn the lights on. We actually can. Don't seem like I'm missing anything in this house. Unless, I didn't notice the banner really, I thought it was a window. Oh, not in there. Lights off again, thank you. Hmm. Outside emergency lights. Oh, there's, there's things here, are there? Oh, I can't turn this off again. I only wanted one temporarily. I wanted to see what was out there. I didn't want to keep light, pools of light out there to get in my way. That's, that's bad. Why haven't you let me turn it off again? That's just... Okay. That's just a very frustrating, frustrating way to begin a mission. Where well, your curiosity is punished. For the sake of a set piece. Does this lead outside? Oh, they've gone. Have they gone off again? Can't tell. Very, very dark. Oh, take that. Wow, if this is the way we're going to get loot, it's going to take a very long time to get to these thousands. Don't need another blue virus, there's plenty of those elsewhere. Yeah, emergency lights don't seem to be on again. Have another banner. That hides nothing. Ah, now they are, yes. And we've got the custom light gem as well, which I'm not a fan of. Alright, well, keep moving. What do we have around here? Whoa. Is that more of the town, or...? The thing went that way. I've lost my bearings. Compass doesn't help. <laughs> Go this way. Oh, we have a cave to explore. Okay. So we could head towards the wall of the town. Towards the cave, or. We seem to be our two options here. I guess the emergency lighting is not actually a problem. Can we fit through here? It doesn't... No. We sort of jam ourselves in and almost get stuck. Well, there's definitely not a building there. There's some power equipment. Let's check out this first. Seems a little more likely to find loot here than in a cave, right? Oh, 
the floodlights flying over. I was wondering what it was. Oh, is that the town gate? Oh. And then that's the way into the town proper. I was just in a house on the outskirts. I see. At least I think I see. This looks fake. This has got glyphs on the box. There's a keeper hideout here for sure. I was turning on the floodlights, okay? I don't know why that's anything important. Gotta be a way to open this. The way it moves. Surely these glyphs are not just here to taunt me. Nothing to save yourself, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't want to talk to me either. Mm. Do I want the fog lights on? I mean, I don't really. Might have to go back to the cave, backtrack a bit. Self-closing doors. So let's go back to the cave. So this feels like I'm making forward progress there. To the town, which is... Cool and all. But, um... Perhaps this cave holds some secrets for us. Someone's been sleeping here. This will surely be my final entry. The creatures are on their way. I knew it was only a matter of time, but I was sure I'd have longer than this. I had even entertained a fanciful notion of escape, a terrible hope that had risen in me. Alas, poor foolish Marcus, I fear Brelino will be far beyond my reach before the moon rises much higher in this unnaturally black sky. I pray that I have given Brother Vorentius the time he needs to prepare. Will this final act of resistance be my legacy? I hope it is a worthy one. Builder, give me strength. Marcus Rain. Oh, it's just a short cave. Oh, he's got. He had some loot. He does not need any more. Oh. Oh, he's being chained to the ceiling. Well, that's an unusual. Uh, I don't have a method of doing. You don't have a purse or anything on you? No. Good, I look, good thing I looked up, huh? Cool, I have one water arrow and enough money to buy three more. This is a... Why did I come to this godforsaken town? This is not worth losing. Have I, have I just robbed the city dry already? I don't know what I'm doing here or why, but... Hmm, I'm looking at the top there as well and thinking that I can definitely get up there uh, new mantle style, metal the door. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. I might hold off and see what's this way for a bit. Didn't the door open outwards before? Was I imagining it? I'm 
very brightly lit electrics covered in you know with water everywhere. It feels very safe. Oh, that's valuable. What? Come on, you can't do that. That's... Those are jump bosses. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go back to the house for the other one now. Backtrack the second time. Because I don't pick up junk. I'm supposed to somehow magically know that this time around you've made it valuable. Is the door even? Yep, it's valuable. There wasn't another one upstairs, was there? I don't think so. That's not the stairs. This is the stairs. No, there were these huge bounces, that's, I think that's what I was remembering. And this room had nothing at all. Okay. Anything down behind the sofa? Never really know. Alright. Well, now I've got... Almost enough money for five more arrows. There's another door over here I missed. Key, then. <laughs> A little too high up. I could climb up there with a barrel or a crate or something. Right, there's nothing in this room except that valuable virus, right? I'll keep exploring the cellar, I guess we'll stay in the water, watery parts first. Oh, someone wants a long, complicated lock. Damn it. I listened at the door, there was no sound of a spider. Oh, let's pay more close attention. He didn't have time to drink that before it was too late. What have we got here? Oh, what about the chair? Oh, I've just seen part of the chair, I guess. Nothing else. What was that? How, how did the spider locked in here with the guy? That doesn't make any sense. One guy chained to the ceiling, one guy webbed to the ceiling. I'm sensing a theme. One more, Sarah. Got 
Got all the doors are locked. And open into my face. Oh, this is another. This room has two doors for some reason. Okay. Wait, is this the spider one? Yeah. Drain. Uh, a manhole. Oh, sorry, that we, it says drain. It's a manhole uh, that we can climb out of. We have another manhole we can climb out of. Okay. We have another door up the stairs where it wasn't. Uh... Where it wasn't wet. It's dark, so. Okay, there's a, t a tunnel, a door here that just I cannot interact with. Leading to a tunnel that goes either south or north, I don't know which. Something's breathing down there. I guess it's supposed to scare me. Alright, the uh, manhole on the left looked like it led up into the light. This one doesn't. So let's try going up this one. Just the other side of the gate, I think. Well, I guess we're not doing anything here. There's statues everywhere, but. Oh. Right, we can open the gate. Yeah, there's just the same gate. So this puts us under the center of that courtyard. If we go this way, we're going underneath the second gate. So this should be on. The, this should bring us out to the far side of the other gate. I mean, why have a city gate if it's so easily bypassed by sewer tunnels? It's amazing it's tunnels. It's a bit of poor security, really. Waves are very loud. Hmm. I guess we should see what's in this house.
Those damnable pirates, they took my wife. Not even a fortnight had passed before they brought her back. Bastards. Yeah, I guess you can't decide which is worse. I'm always suspicious of these since one of them was hiding a secret in uh, running interference. But I could not bring myself to do it. What more was I supposed to have done? I expected more to flee to the safety of the harbour, but only a pitiful handful have come, or at least only those few have succeeded. These survivors, they speak madness. I fear outsiders, or worse, our own soldiers, will turn on these people, believing them insane, possessed. I would believe it madness if I had not heard the screams myself, echoing terribly even over the crashing of the waves. The gate to the main canal is shut. The homes here are a refuge for all those who swear they have been chased here by shadows. How am I to explain this to Captain Vinsel? Those fleeing from the town are telling such odd tales. Demons coming from shadows, snatching helpless victims from their homes without leaving a trace. Hard to believe. They also say that the people remaining are attempting to protect themselves by setting up traps. Chances are they're going to hurt one another instead of what haunts them. Oh, I should be looking on the lookout for traps then. Ah, we're above. Right, because it's mantled up here and going that way. Alright, we've got something in the canal. Or we can try the harbour. Let's try the harbour. My ankles are already down, but I don't want to you know, get the rest of me uh, immersed when I don't need to. There's a crate I was looking for. Do I want to haul that all the way back? Not immediately, but I kind of would like to. Well, there's somebody. And this front door. Well, there's a couple of somebody's actually. I mean, they might have loot on them still. Well, they shut the harbour gate too. So, unless we can get that open. That noise. Don't know. It was again, I was. I thought it was something reacting to me, but no, it doesn't seem to be. It's the banner. Does it make that candlestick valuable? No. Oh, more glyphs. Okay, I'm just suspicious of the bookshelf because the model has glyphs. Which seems very odd if it's not keepers. Bedroom, Lucius said it would be safe. Marcus has already left. I hear them breathing through the walls. He said it would be safe. Ah, oh, the keepers have been here. Okay. Very annoying. I don't have a map of any kind, especially not to make notes of where I've been. There isn't even a note page because it's like there's a locked door back there. In the uh, maybe that's the key I need for it. Maybe it's not. I honestly have no idea.
Well, it's a good thing you got here. <laughs> you making these plates valuable? You are. Breaking all convention. <laughs> Maybe Garrett's just that desperate he's going to pawn everything he can get his hands on except the coffee jars and not that plate. That's that's just a disposable. Oh, I was in here already. Well, doesn't look like we'll learn anything more from this building. Three choices. Go swimming in the harbour, go swimming in the canal, take the crate back to where we start. So I'm going to go with the crate first. I'm going to some backtracking. I don't really, but I think I will do some backtracking. Am I supposed to be backtracking then? That feels like I'm supposed to be backtracking. Which I did not think I, I did not think they expected me to backtrack. I was just going back thinking I'd missed some loot. They seem to be asking something more. Okay, let's check out the uh, bodies in here. Sort of way up into this building. We, we've been in this building, haven't we? There's the one with the door, front door missing. Well, there's a the thing. Lock picking underwater. That is everything that the harbour holds for us. It seems so. Alright, we'll check the canal then. So it's the town key for the door that in the maintenance area? Because I wouldn't have expected a key labeled town key would be for that. I would thought that would be like you know, some kind of storage room or something. What's the canal go for us? Nothing down here. I mean, let's say the canal was closed off, so we should probably be expecting nothing more than that. Yeah. Alright. Guess we can call that done. <laughs> Look in these barrels, but I can't really see them. All right, back down here then. Suspicious of the red light. And the flickery light. Right, that was the locked door, right? Oh, 
it's all nice, nice and calm again. Okay, I wanted the crate here. One. <laughs> hmm. And it feels like I'm out of bounds. I was just looking over where we came in anyway. Yeah, definitely out of bounds. <sighs> well, the other place I wanted to create was for uh, over that side, right? <sighs> to get up, up here. Where, where it looked climbable because there's a lower patch of roof, but no, you're not meant to be up here. Alright then, that's fine. I didn't need to create in here today. Oh, so it's bad as I didn't drop down. Very important work to be done. There's a balcony, I don't think it's going to do me anything. Oh, is this the, is this the door that blocked? It is, okay. It just closed behind me, it didn't lock itself behind me. This place is falling apart rapidly. So is that, have they been destroying the walkways as a defense measure, or is it just, like, never bothered with maintenance until it's too late? Why does everything float? Or is it always that way? I suppose it could always be that way, it's just very swampy. More frogs? Doesn't seem. Welcome to Port Erinth. Even their uh, welcome sign has been collapsed. Very primitive kind of defense, that. If you think that the things hunting you can. Okay. Objective complete. Get inside and begin. Okay. Alright, oh, I wasn't even in the town yet. New objectives. Find information on the whereabouts of a valuable something hidden in Port Erinth. Optional piece together information on what happened. Right. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it, that, that people were very heavily into uh, mental lap. Building, building architecture that feels climbable and not letting me climb it is... It's just annoying. It's like... Make, if you're making a thief game, make it a thief game, don't make it some other game. Or Zero's Wares. We still don't have a map of the town, do we? Which end of the town is this? This is the southwestish town end, I guess. I mean, equipment would be good if he's got any. All 
my old fields is locked. I'm gonna need a key. Who else is around here? I mean, nobody. Seems to be the situation in town is that nobody is around here. More crates. <laughs> See? This just reads to me like I should be climbing up here now. But I can't mantle it. Uh, I can mantle it thanks to new mantle. Okay. I'm not supposed to be able to mantle it. So let's not. Again, uh, it annoys me a lot. Seaport Street, Old Avenue. What? Not even supposed to be able to handle this crate? The shadows have come and taken out some from us. What is it they want? Just to build a seek vengeance. Vengeance for... You guys not having maintained your place well enough? Nothing the builder hates more than a building that is close to falling back into nature, right? Somebody playing music? Oh, it's, it's bamboo wind chime. Okay, makes a little more sense. More wind chimes. There's a bell when entering the place. Can't read it. It's laid out there, lit up. It looks like I'm supposed to read it. I guess not. That crazy old bastard is the only one with the South Gate key to get us out of here. The mountain path is not an ideal way of escape, but it has to be done due to them blocking off the West Gate. I hear those who have tried to seek refuge at the harbour have had ill luck of their own. On top of it all, that crazy old man Hansen has banished everyone from Old Town, threatening to kill us all if we try and break in. I hear he has taken crests in and pub for his own. What's worse is he, is he is inspiring those kids across the way to set up traps of their own. I see them outside sitting up a harpoon. When will this end? Oh yeah, I need to run to look out the traps, don't I? <sighs> oh, I don't see a secret door behind there. And there's one water arrow, I don't really want to spend it too soon, do I? I mean, of course we haven't seen any reason to Worry, right? We've not seen any any living thing. I mean, we did glance outside and thought we saw a shadow moving, but sure, it doesn't count. But it was nothing. Someone was sleeping here? Nope. I haven't had anybody else attached to the ceiling. This darkness is becoming simply intolerable. I wonder where those blasted servants of mine have wandered off to. A man needs fortification, even in a land of perpetual night. And it has been two days by my reckoning since anyone brought me a meal at all. I've had to prepare myself what I found in the kitchens. When they come back, I'll have their hides, the worthless brats. Then they can prepare me a feast worthy of my station. A blighter is the lot of them. I saw something most curious today. Marcus reigned out and about. What in the world is such a gentleman doing out in this darkness, I asked myself. And I watched him for a bit, toiling like a common street laborer as he fiddled around with some wires and bulbs. So I called down to him. Marcus, I cried. Marcus, whatever are you doing? And he motioned for me to be silent and hurried across the street to the door, peering furtively around the whole time, as if being hunted, as it were. Sir Rain has told me a most incredible tale. I think a person of lower esteem may not possess the mental faculty to comprehend such an account. It seems that the creatures prowling around the city cannot be seen in this gloom. So Marcus has prepared a system to light the main areas of the city. 
He's a braver man than I, to be willing to face those creatures even in the light. And now, here I sit on this cramped pallet, surrounded by candles, the only light that remains. I must admit it is somewhat exciting, rather like being a heathen in the old times, or perhaps a peasant. It is really a great adventure, although I will not be sorry to see the sun again soon. If my servants were not such cowards as to abandon their master, I would gladly have sent them to aid Marcus with his task. But as it is, he must complete his task alone, like the epic heroes in the old stories. That door does not open. I'm going to bring over everything. Because I can't see, it's too dark. Oops. I'm just keep it around. Ah, I see the traps. I don't see what it's going to trigger, but I see the trip wire. Do I see one here? I do not. Bring a crate back and uh, set it off. Hmm, it's defending something, that's for sure. What? A ladder. Do I think I can jump over it? I see, there's a harpoon. Okay, I wonder if that defended them. I see blood on the walls. I don't see a sign of anybody living. Seems the answer might be no, it did not work. Even left all the crates empty. The monsters. Well, we have more crates if we, uh, we want to do in stacking, I suppose. Stand bags I can't pick up. Stuff and stuff. Oh, they have some food. I'll take that. I am so tired, but I can't sleep out of fear. They haven't discovered us yet and don't seem to realize we are actually above them. But this refuge won't last forever. They know we're here. But Vincent and the boys are ready. No more cowardice. No more hiding. And most importantly, no more waiting. Next, day, next time they come, they will learn that even a nightmare can bleed. Well, maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Who can tell? Supply, food, water, storage, weapons. Let's see that. There's still some food, but I don't see any uh, weapons. Get up there. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Get an invisible thing. Okay. I mean, I suppose it must have been a fairly pretty town in, in the light. I'm so already thoroughly wet, we might as well uh, see if anybody has been throwing a loose change in the fountain. Seems to see skin flints and not. In the habit of doing so. Is that an electrified gate? It looks like it might be. Someone was practicing. Do them any good? Perhaps not. 
Will it do me some good? A small amount. Now, what? 500 out of 2300. I can kind of walk all around this. I mean, for a particular reason. I see statues everywhere. Are they significant? Do I expect them, something to happen with them? I mean, I kind of do. Maybe it's just people in this town love statues. One never really knows. People are into all sorts of things. Well, choices. Yeah, that's electrified. I'm not touching that. This doesn't open, does it? Hmm. Oh, we've got a cannon up there too. I wonder what triggers that. I guess I'm lucky I didn't. Oh, hello. Got a couple more statues from uh, through the bars. This seems to come around here. It's lit up. It's not. It's not. Not functional. Spindrift Avenue. There's a fire up in there. Oh, okay, that was bringing me to a different part of the place. Well, before we think about uh, the locks, we need to worry about uh, things. Okay, this we had a tease. Mr. T's place needs a key. Oh, there's several places. What was the other place? I don't remember. First place I went looking needs it needed a key as well. Um, and some places just have doors that don't function. Can I climb up on this wall? <laughs> oh, this one I can, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a gate. Alright, wide open. Maybe we can find out something about this electrified place. Let's reload that. Bail mantle is not really what I can't fair game. Oh. I could use this machine, I don't don't know yet if I should. Let's hold off. I don't know if it's got limited supply of powder in the barrel that we might need to uh, use later on. Loot, strange thing to have. Well, as they say, always good to grab flute. All right, so the statues I grabbed from outside, I could have just got from here. Fair enough. But they did draw my attention to this being an interrupted place. Darkness grows. Those strange men in black, the keepers, have come to me. For my safe, of all things. They've guarded the west gate with their magic to ward the creatures off, so they are unable to leave the town. Of course, those, are those of us left here, well, we hope only to survive. The object they used to turn on and off the shield is in my safe now, but another keeper took the key. I believe they said he was going to the power station. I'm not sure why, but hopefully I'll have answers once we're all safe again. 
key to the safe in the power station. If only I knew where the power station was. And if only I could make notes about these things. That's even more important. Right? That door doesn't open. Do I want to break down the boards? I think I want to try. <laughs> Absolutely works. Oh, that's the door that didn't open. Okay. Well, that's why. Oh, Quintus is alien. It's not. It's not loot. Okay. What's that? I tried to read the book and accidentally accidentally dropped a lever. I don't know what it <laughs> opened, and I can't seem to close it again. That's annoying. <laughs> Today I came across the most peculiar thing. I was enjoying a lovely nighttime stroll when I saw something glinting in the sand on the beach. What could it be? Ah, a pocket watch! Such a tiny device with such delicate innards. So many springs, gears, plates, all working together in perfect harmony. Such a marvel of technology. I will investigate it further once I have more time. Take it apart piece by piece to see how it works. Although it would not be quite valuable to someone. For now I shall keep it safe. D. Phineas. Speaking of safes... I will not be able to pick this, right? No. So what did that switch do apart from make a weird spooky noise? Did it? That's weird. A secret switch that doesn't appear to have done anything? What? Oh, it opened this. Oh, I see. Uh huh. An old basement where he was hiding, I guess. It started in Lemonham Street, but the town guard fought them off. Keep it through strange markings around the door to keep the demons out, but it didn't work for long. Another opening appeared moments later in the old town, and again the strange men attempted to seal it off. Then they were quiet. We were fools, though, thinking that the peace would last. Then, then they, they came up from the ground, poured into the streets. The streets where I spent my entire life. People I've known for years, taken by the demons, and I was left to linger in my meager shelter. I've been here now, alone, for four long days in this darkness. I hope my death will be swift, and I can feel the demons searching for those few still alive. I can't hear anyone else. I hear only devils. I mean, it does kind of seem as though the demons have run out of food and gone elsewhere, but we should probably not count on that. Okay, well, I'm glad I actually identified what the switch was. Alright, so let's go to the rooftop. And this is the way to the tea house. The house with the tea banner. But we've got this passageway that we have not yet explored. Or rather, I have not gone beyond this point of. But you know, that's where we'll go in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Boom!